that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. Rebellion. Muggles have made life hard for us since the dawn of time. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager.
an inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> ha, uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, 
There you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Killing him at all. Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Prepare him!
goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see Prepare what happens. Was a singer to worry about. Repair. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... I suspect you have a sharp eye for facts. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure.